farmers in Maharashtra are now abandoning the conventional methods of agriculture and adopting the innovative techniques like SRT for better results. Within a span of 10 years, the Saguna Rice Technique or SRT has brought about a revolution in the paddy cultivation. It is a unique method of rice cultivation on permanent raised beds without ploughing, puddling and transplanting rice. The credit for developing this innovative method largely goes to Krishi Bhushan award winner Chandrasekhar Bharasavle from Raigarh district of Maharashtra. Today the technique is also helpful in growing other rotation crops apart from paddy. Along with rice, we grow several other crops and they are all cultivated by a very new, unique, innovative technique. We call it SRT, Saguna Rice Technique. Saguna Rice Technique is a regenerative method of farming where no ploughing, no puddling and uh, it, it, it is a technique that helps farmer build confidence, the farmer becomes happy the motherly land also becomes happy. A graduate in agricultural sciences and a degree holder in food technology from California University, Mr. Bharsavli established the Saguna Bag in 2011 and started using Saguna rice technique in farming. Once he was convinced of the technique, he also started training the farmers around him. As per this technique, depressions or holes are made with iron former on the raised beds. Then the seeds are sown along with the fertilizer. The soil is then irrigated with the available method or rains, after which weedicides are sprayed on the spot. When the crop is ready for harvest, the stubble of the plant is left intact in the ground. The new crop can then be planted again on the same bed. This method helps in reducing the cost and increasing the yield. Zero tea yani ki is isme kisi bhi tarah ki jutai yani ki land preparation nahi karna hota hai. Or conservation agriculture yani ki samvardit kheti. To samvardit kheti me kisanon ki lagat kam kisanon ko lagat kam kam lagti hai. Kisanon ke efforts. किसानों को लगने वाला जो भी यानी कि रासायनिक खाद हो, बीज हो और किसी भी तरह की मेहनत उसमें उसमें उनका बचत हो जाता है। Saguna technique prevents the loosening of the soil and reduces erosion. Remaining of the previous crops and plants aid in moisture retention of the soil. This makes the soil more fertile and the rice crop needs less irrigation. We have harvested the rice, but we have left the roots of rice crop and the uh, small portion of rice straw in situ for it to decay in place. This way, our organic carbon starts going up by half a percent every day. And half a percent carbon, half a percent organic carbon is equivalent to 9 ton of carbon dioxide per year per acre and this has got big importance. Being a no-till farming method, one of the most important problems that our country is facing in Punjab and Haryana of parali burning, stubble burning, this method can avoid it. Saguna Bagh has now become a spot for agricultural tourism. Farmers and scientists from different places visit the Bag to understand the Saguna rice technique. Almost every region in Maharashtra is now using this technique for the cultivation of rice, vegetables, groundnut, wheat, soya bean and various other crops. Farmers in Maharashtra are earning better than before with the help of this technique. Therefore, this technique can surely inspire farmers from other parts of the country.